This is the first piece of vocabulary. It's in C major. Forgive me in advance for going fast on these. Two chord in C major is D minor seven. Uh, so I'm actually going to play D minor nine arpeggio. Start on the ninth. Down to the third, the flat three. Like this. I then move to the five chord G7. Play three, four, five, flat seven from G mix Lydian. And then I finish on the third and the fifth of a C major or major seven arpeggio. So all together. Like that. It's always good to know um, any idea on the guitar in more than one area. So I would suggest, um, for example, learn this up the octave um, and learning it around 12th position, 12th fret here. Um, so try it like this. So down that D minor 9 arpeggio and 3, 4, 5, flat 7 in the G Mixedian scale and then 3, 5 on a C major arpeggio there. So. This is another idea that I actually really like using. And uh, this actually is in G major, this example. And on the two chord, A minor seven, I'm playing A, C, B, A, which is one flat three, nine, one. And then on the five chord, D seven, I'm playing uh, eight or one flat seven, six five and you'll see that i'm doing a pull off there and i was doing a similar thing on the two chord and then we do one two three five seven six five one two three five seven six five on the one chord which is really nice i like the way coltrane does that what coltrane also does is he starts this idea on the fifth in various places Okay, so you see the same shape, but starting on the fifth. So it's five, flat seven, six, five on the two chord. And then it's five, four, three, two on the five chord, D7. Uh, and then I wouldn't worry too much about the one chord because that's just something that I've put in to make the phrase complete, but it's this. Okay. This is quite a nice one in D major, two quarters of course, E minor seven. Starts on the ninth, moves through to the fifth, over the two chord of course, and then it goes like this, which is down the third, flat seventh, fifth, and then back to a lower third um, of A7, the five chord, and it finishes on one and three of the one chord. Okay? And then what I've done is, this is just an example of how you can take this stuff and make it your own, is I've taken exactly the same kind of shapes. So going up those scale notes on the two chord and then going down an arpeggio type thing on the five chord and doing you know an arpeggio sort of thing on the one chord. And I've started this on the fifth. It was on the ninth and now started it on the fifth. So, okay. So starting on the fifth, going up to the root um, of the two chord this is and then down a five chord, a seven, just the third to the fifth on the one chord, easy. So that's another really nice one and it's an A major on the two chord, B minor seven, Coltrane just plays up the, the B minor seven arpeggio. So nice and easy. And then he's using E mix Lydian on the five chord, E seven. And he plays the notes three, four, three, two, one in the scale. And in terms of the rhythm, it's basically just eighth notes apart from on the pull off there, notes four and three in the scale, then uh, he's playing sixteenths. So eight, sixteenths on that bit. Uh, and then we're just holding that E, which uh, is the one on the E7 chord, but it's the five in terms of the arpeggio notes over the one chord. And we finish by playing 13, or 6, um, to 3. Like that, so. Like that.
I've actually expanded that idea as well because I really liked it. So here it is starting on the third instead of the root. That's the third of the two chord. Um, so I'm now using B minor arpeggio notes instead of B minor seven arpeggio notes. So I'm doing flat three, five, one, flat three. All right, and then we have the five chord and I'm starting on the 13th. I'm doing 13, flat seven back to 13, five, three. Okay, and then uh, I'm holding that seventh, um, well it's the third of the, the five chord, but it's the seventh of the one chord. I'm holding it like this, and then, okay, so, so seven to one to five. Thanks for checking out this video, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, I'd love it if you could click the like button below this video, uh, or even better, the subscribe button. And by doing that, you'll be the first to know about new content uploaded on my channel, and of course for this series. Uh, I'd also encourage you to check out my website, daveniskinmusic.com, because you can download the, the backing tracks in all 12 keys for practicing these concepts over. You can also download all 15 licks from the series uh, in one go, um, in either sheet music form or tab form there, so I'd encourage you to check that out too. So I'm going to play you out now on rhythm changes, uh, and what I'm doing is I'm taking the ideas, mainly from this series, uh, and I'm taking them from Coltrane and applying them over rhythm changes. So I'm taking them from Moments Notice, Giant Steps, and I'm actually playing them over rhythm changes. So check that out. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you.